Hi everyone, thanks for watching. Today we're going to be doing a neem oil soil drench on one of my plants. I have a plant that I've kept from last summer. Uh, it was a clone that I took from one of my plants and have kept it uh, indoors. At one point I had some aphid problems with it and uh, I haven't for a couple months but it, it's still on my mind and it's scaring me that there might be eggs or something in the soil. Um, and I really don't want to deal with aphids, especially indoors. Uh, so I'm going to do a neem oil drench. I've already sprayed the plant uh, twice over the last week with neem oil, but now I want to drench the soil um, to make sure we get anything that's potentially uh, lying dormant in there. So I have neem oil uh, by Captain Jack's. Um, they recommend three to six tablespoons per gallon. I've used four tablespoons in this gallon of water um, and I'm going to give my plant most of this now. So let's go ahead and do the treatment. Here's my plant. As you can see it's pretty bushy. It was actually a monster crop. It was a clone I took from a flowering plant. Um, and I've been struggling to get her fully healthy. As you can see there's some discoloration and other things but um, nonetheless she's trucking along with me and is uh, not doing too bad so i want to try to keep it till this summer and then plant it outdoors that's my plan anyways um, or use it as a mother to take clones so i want to make sure we take good care of it uh, so let's go ahead and give it this neem oil treatment here is the concoction i use this gallon popcorn tub for watering just to make it a little easier We're gonna let that soak in. I know this isn't the best watering procedure in the world, um, but at the same time, I'm not so worried about that. I just wanna make sure it soaks up all this water with neem oil. Alrighty, she's about there. Part of the problem I had with this plant is I did too much low stress training at once. You can see all these binder clips I have on here. And it, she was looking really pretty, but I think it was too much stress for her. So now I'm just working on a couple branches at a time, but we'll keep slowly bending these down um, to create more space in the center of this plant. So as you can see, she's super bushy. All right, she is soaking most of this up just a little bit more. All right, and that's that. That is a neem oil soil treatment that I'm using as a preventative measure against aphids and any other potential bugs that might be in the soil. Um, all right, if you have any questions or comments, be sure to leave them. I will answer back as soon as I can. Um, thank you all for joining.